Well, Jared, good to catch up. Um, it must have been a bit of a frustrating season for you in many ways. Yeah, definitely. Um, it has been very frustrating because as a footballer, all you want to do is play football. Um, it has helped a little bit though with the team doing really well. It's obviously a bit easier to watch from the side when the team's doing well. If the team wasn't doing well, I'd be even more frustrated. So it takes the edge off it a little bit. But um, with regards to my injury, yeah, um, back in training and stuff, so all good. And in some ways, I guess, frustrating injuries as well. It was a heel to start with. Not that I wish it's on any player, but if you break your leg, you know it's eight weeks and you're going to be back, don't you, really? Yeah, uh, yeah it was a heel to start off with, and then um, it took me a couple of weeks to get over that. And then um, and then I, I felt my hernias coming back on, because I've had hernia operations before, so I knew the feeling. Um, so I obviously said to the physio and that, I feel like I've got her like hernias again. And he said, well, we're going to have to try and get it sorted. And... And it's been a long, long process and finally got it sorted and, and looking to get back, back out there now. Did you need surgery for that or were they able to sort it other ways? Uh, we tried to sort it before obviously going down the operational route, but, but um, yeah, it did need an operation in the end, which I got done and, and, and now I'm all right, I suppose. <laughs> so you're back on the training ground now, are you? Yeah, I've trained probably about five times so far and then obviously we had... Uh, you know, it was friendly the other day against Leicester, um, and I played 45 minutes, and I feel I feel quite good. With well, the lungs on fire, the first time it's, it's a long time out, isn't it? Yeah, um, you don't realise how much fitness you actually lose. Um, you can do as much work as you want in the gym and stuff, but it doesn't replicate obviously being out there on the pitch. Um, so yeah, I struggled a little bit, but it's all good. You mentioned you have been watching from the sidelines. What have you made of the season so far? The lads have done fantastic. Um, yeah, they've done really well. Um, because we've had a lot of new faces in as well. I know we've kept a few lads, but um, I think that the lads have done really well. And a lot of young players as well, really. Yeah, because the average age must be, what, 23, 24. So to be up there at the top of the league is is a great, great feat, really. I thought it was a great result last weekend, not only because Ebbsfleet obviously are a decent side in their own right, but the bounce back from Salford, the disappointment of Salford, to come back in that manner was very encouraging. I think. Yeah, and I felt like first half was a bit of a battle, but I think we completely dominated the game second half um, against a really good Ebbsfleet team that are obviously very experienced as well. So it was very, very positive for me. The league obviously is going to be the main priority this season. I mean, it always is in any season for most clubs. Um, and you're up there and challenging. I guess it's it's a bit like being in the fifteen hundred metres, isn't it? Really, you want to be on the shoulder of the leader going into the home straight, just in case they falter. Really, exactly. And I think you have to be careful of looking too far ahead, and you have to take game by game. But all we can control is ourselves and our our own performances. And I think so far this season, if we carry on, then we that's all we can do. Telford at home this weekend, um, and well, I mean, I look at the league table, suggest this is one that Harris could do a winning, really. Yeah, we, we can't afford to drop points, especially at home. Um, our home form's not been bad this season, so hopefully we can get three points. Jordan Tunnicliffe, good mate of yours, and you have to say, since the start of uh, the season, coming in from the back end of last season, he's come on leaps and bounds, and it looks like he's really enjoying his football as well. Yeah, definitely, and I think, obviously, in football, confidence is a massive thing. Um, and Tony is one of those players that needs a lot of confidence and I think obviously playing games has helped that and the way that he's dominated uh, opposition strikers has been fantastic this season and hopefully he just goes from strength to strength really. You mentioned the home form, I think it's seven straight wins at Agra in all competitions which is great, um, it doesn't make it any easier with each next game does it, it sounds like you know, win seven in a row you it's fairly comfortable, but they get harder and harder, don't they? Of course, really? yeah, of course they do. And I think you have to you have to go into games with obviously the mentality of that you will win the game, but you also have to earn the right to win that game. And I think that's what the managers installed in the team very well. It's like if you if you stamp your authority down on the game early doors, then then you've got a great chance of winning the game. And especially at home, we've done that.